this evening, Dr. Randa has put out more stringent measures to further mitigate the spread of the coronavirus infections in the country. I am joined by Honorable Minister Vincent Biruta in charge of foreign affairs to throw more light on these measures. You're most welcome. Thank you. Yeah, uh, the new guidelines include closure of borders. What does this mean? Which borders are these in particular? Here we are specifically referring to land borders and the water borders because you have one border which is uh, made by uh, waters in Lake Chivu. Uh, because you know uh, airport, the airport has been already closed and we are referring here to land borders and uh, water borders specifically. Mm -hmm. Among the guidelines include stopping internal circulation of motorcycles and passenger cars across the country. How is life going to be like in the next 14 days? Let's first say, uh, explain the reason why we are limiting these movements. It is because we have cases of coronavirus here in the city of Chigari, and we need to limit the spreading of the coronavirus outbreak through the country. Because if we keep letting people go from Chigari to various districts and provinces, it means there is a high risk that we create new clusters in various parts of the country. Mm -hmm. And these clusters will, will spread uh, the virus all over the country. It will be very difficult to control because the situation can be out of control anytime. So we need to limit movement of people for a certain time to be able to focus on the cases we already have here in Chigari and on their contacts. And uh, by limiting movements of people, we are sure that we have cases we know and you have their contacts. We test them, we follow up on them, and we can limit the, the, the spread uh, of the outbreak. It also means that we are not letting more people coming from abroad, because all these cases have come from, uh, from abroad. At least the first cases we had were brought uh, from abroad, were imported, yeah. and we need to make sure we don't import, uh, we don't import new cases. Mm -hmm. And the limiting movements inside the country means that we keep just the cases where they are and their contacts, and we don't spread uh, the virus across the country. What does this mean for people that stay in the village that had traveled to Kigali and perhaps those that are in Kigali that stay in the up country? People always need to, to move around. We are saying just stay where you are for two weeks. And for those who, for various reasons which are really essential, there, is, there are provision to let them move with authorization of uh, local government authorities, there will be a way to be able to move for healthcare from a district to, to, to from a district to hospital to a referral hospital. These will be authorized, and for really essential movement for essential travels, there there will be exceptions. But the principle is to keep everyone where he is today to make sure that uh, we don't expose anyone to this uh, coronavirus and we make sure that uh, the cases we have today and their contacts are contained in a certain area so that we can, we can follow up on them, uh, take care of those who are already infected and uh, in doing so also make sure that uh, the virus is not spread through these travels from a district to another, from uh, the city of Chigari to a province. So that, uh, that is the reason why we are limiting the movements. Can you please paint a picture for Randans? Like what, what determines or how will you determine the necessary movements like medical care or going out to look for food or stuff, something like that? In the guidelines, there are examples of what we mean by essential travels and you have uh, local government authorities in place who will be able to, to judge and to, to, to decide. But we should not even need these local authorities to intervene because we want everyone to own these guidelines mm. because it is for the benefit for everyone. We need everyone to own these guidelines, to understand them, and to disseminate them to their families, their neighbors, and to really 
be part of the effort we are, we are making to control this uh, pandemic. Let's talk about people that don't have access to online banking. You said among the guidelines is avoiding ATMs or banking systems. What about people that don't have access so to online banking? We are banking? saying we are saying we should privilege online banking instead of going to banks, instead in, instead of using ATM. Mm -hmm. But we are not saying uh, going to a bank is not allowed using ATM is not allowed. We are just saying you should limit these movements to banks or to any other place. We should just move really for essential reasons where there is no way to avoid this. And uh, if you can use online banking, it's perfect because you can do it from your home. Yes. But if you can't, you are allowed to go to a bank. You are, going to, you are allowed to go to an ATM. But we would like, uh, no, we would prefer that you don't go there every day. If you need to go there, let's say, let's say, once a week or also. But just let's limit the movements. Let's limit the reasons for which we need to move from a place to another one. The issue of restaurants and bars being closed. Have we moved from the 9 p.m. curfew to being closed completely? Absolutely. Bars will be closed completely. And restaurants? Restaurants will be allowed to open just for to, to prepare meals, mm. uh, so for people to, to use the takeaway services, uh, get food, but not stay in the restaurant itself. With the shops and markets that are being closed and then the stringent measures of movement between um, upcountry within the country, is there a possibility of shortage of food, for instance, people that get food from upcountry to come and sell markets? There is no shortage, uh, there is no possible shortage because uh, food stuff are part of the exceptions which are made because we have said even for the borders, cargo goods and cargo will be allowed. Mm. And uh, for uh, district and uh, provinces and the city of Chigari, we, more goods and cargo will be allowed to, to move and the uh, market will be supplied with, with food from anywhere. These seem to be really stringent measures and uh, they're sending people in panic. Is, are you saying the country is sort of... No, they, they, they should not panic. They should, uh, they should say the government is in charge and the government is taking the right measures because we have learned for, from those countries where the, this uh, pandemic has started. Mm. Those countries which have taken stringent measures from the beginning were able to control the epidemic. Those countries which started uh, in the next way and uh, which have take, taken time to take these measures are in a total mess today. So we are learning from these experiences and people need to know that the government is in charge mm. and it's taking the right decision to protect their, their lives and they need to be part of that effort and to contribute to it is for the benefit for all of us. In terms of seeking medical attention in Kigali, is the government providing means of transport for patients that are up country or how are they supposed to move from up country to Kigali in case they are referred? For patient disease, usually patients are referred and they are using uh, ambulances, but for specific reasons, for good reasons, transport will be allowed.